Have you ever agreed to build a simple college project and then suddenly decided to turn it into a full-blown real-world app that can actually help people? Well, that's exactly what I did. Hey, I'm Divyansh. I'm supposed to make something to impress my professors, but what's my main goal? To build something that actually solves a problem and maybe, just maybe, become someone's daily driver. I don't want to do yet another calculator or to-do list loan that ends up buried in my GitHub uh, with a final, final, really final JSX files. <laughs> so I ask myself, what's something that college students and normal people often do that is fragmented into multiple apps? The answer was obvious. Fitness, with trackers, nutrition apps, achievement trackers, everything is so fragmented. So boom, I'm building a fitness app that gives you everything that you ever wanted for free. So this is how to make an actually useful app in one day and what things you should do to do the same. So step one of actually building an app so fast is the prompt. The prompt is a holy grail for LLMs and decides if you spend two days or two weeks on a project. So the prompt should be very clear and detailed. Alright, so let me really quickly explain to you the prompt that I'm giving. First, I already had a prompt. This prompt is a very tech focused. Where first, I'm giving it a role play to do. Next, I'm going through all of the goals and text that it needs to use. And finally, the core components and pages that are there. And then finally, I'm giving it the folder structure. But then what I realize is that it's not designing it properly, so I'm going to cloud. And uh, I'm now giving it a few more uh, design principles, so I gave it the original prompt. And then I'm giving it 2-3 images as, as a reference. And I'm giving it the color palette that I wanted to use, right here. And so now it's going to create a prompt that I can paste in the lab And usually I write like really big prompts. Usually these prompts give a really good result, but um, in this case, yeah, it failed. No worries, for step two, we take the sweeper and we put it in cursor. The reason we don't start the project in cursor is because it is really bad at making new projects, but it's good at modifying code bases. Basically, it needs something to start from. Now here's what most of our time is spent on. Fixing bugs, creating a backend, adjusting the front end, everything. So right now, it's 12.39. I have the UI done, so like basically you can log workouts. The only thing is that the quality of workout is really bad. So now the next aim is to increase, to make the UI better, to add like GPS co uh, compatibility. So if you go to a run, it's gonna actually track you and know how much, how, how much pace you have, how many kilometers you have ran. It's going to give you the statistics and it's going to be a better UI experience rather than just writing out how many calories which you don't know, it's going to track it. So I need to add the tracking feature. So yeah, let's make it. As it was lunchtime, I really just went to Burger King and grabbed my lunch. As I'm back, I mainly have three things left. First is to integrate an API service to fetch food details and their nutrition values. Next is to make a tracker and make it functional with a map. Finally is to fix some front-end issues and bugs that are still there. So, let's start with the work. GPS, but the moment I click start running, your run has started. Basically, you can track your run and everything. Over here, a, a map is supposed to come. 
Finally, after so much work, uh, I was able to complete the app and make it a paid up web, a progressive web app, basically something that I can use on my phone. And I made it under five and a half hours. Uh, I'm really proud of that. Actually, this app, I it's not finished enough to actually put it on Play Store, but uh, I really want to make a part two where I complete the entire product and I post it and see how much traction and how much revenue I get from a product like this. Something that is my goal. So if you guys want that, let me know. Just if you want to see about how a white coated app uh, works and performs in a market with uh, really well built apps like uh, <coughs> Strava or Nike Run Club. But yeah, do let me know. I'd actually appreciate that. If you guys want, I'm not stopping here. Next episode, I'll work on making this actually usable for random humans and maybe even throw it on Play Store. Or maybe I'll just destroy the entire thing. Either way, it's gonna be content. So yeah, this is Avyanj signing off. It's time for me to drink some caffeine and convince myself that I totally know what I'm doing.